okay dear students uh, let us see what is there in this question a beam of unpolarized light is incident on the first of two parallel polarizers so this is one polarizer we just call it like the first polarizer this will be called as the second polarizer in my terminology that i use okay i always take one polaroid as first polarizer when unpolarized light is hitting on it so this light has to be unpolarized there will be many questions when the polarized light is hitting the first polarizer at that time we have to be very careful so this is the first polarizer from our point of view and unpolarized light this is how we show the unpolarized light so unpolarized light is coming from outside and it is hitting the first polarizer and then it moves up it moves next to it it just pass through it when it pass through it obviously it gets polarized now this is second polarizer now, this is often called analyzer also like this is called polarizer the second one is called analyzer in some books but anyways we can just call it first polarizer and second polarizer so uh, this later on um, again uh, uh, it does not polarize it reduces the intensity of the light that is getting out by using the malus law so malus law is applicable only at the second polarizer it's not applicable on the first polarizer always remember this thing now the first polarizer is now rotated about the direction so what is happening the transmission axis of two polarizers initially parallel so it was like this it was also like this vertical so obviously the unpolarized light that was coming out it was it came out to be like this and obviously it will pass through it with the same intensities there will be no difference and the light is able to pass through both of them and that is the final intensity you can call this as i0 this as i1 and this as i2 okay now now the first polarizer is now rotated with the direction of the incident beam pi and angle smaller than 90 degrees so this is now rotated let us say 45 degrees just taking taking an example it's rotated by less than 90 degree which gives the changes in any of the intensities of the polarization of the transmitted light fine so what is happening to i2 the final intensity and the final polarization what is happening to that we are want to answer that now what will be the intensity first of all this intensity is i not my dear students it's a principle that whenever the light is passing through the first polarizer whatever be the axis like it is like 90 degree vertical horizontal or 45 degree or 135 degree doesn't matter at all whatever be the orientation of the first polarization if the intensity is i not here the intensity is going to become i not divided by 2 you can just answer it without thinking okay because it is first polarizer when unpolarized light is getting to the other side it just becomes half simple straightforward no if no but now let us think about the second one so here it has it has gone by theta angle so this polarization has now changed i'm going to show you with the pink color now so here the polarization has changed so this is the new polarization for i1 so polarization has changed when it passes through uh, the first polarizer it becomes like this but the intensity is the same for the pink one also the intensity is this and for the black one also the intensity would be given by i not by 2 doesn't matter at all but now when this light is hitting the second polarizer now what is happening now we are going to apply the malus law so in uh, malus law what we say is i2 is equal to i1 cos square theta where theta is the angle between the polarized light the axis of the polarized light and the axis of the polarizer so in first case like when we were using black color theta was 0 degree so cos 0 was 1 so i2 was coming out to be equal to i1 but in the case of second case it will be i1 cos square theta which is like 45 degree or something so definitely the intensity will reduce so i2 intensity is now reduced so intensity is going to be different but what about the polarization polarization means the axis of the light now this axis of the i2 is going to remain same earlier also it would be according to the axis of the second polarizer earlier also it was vertical and now also it is vertical hence there will be no change in polarization because the axis of the polarization has not changed the axis of the polarization has changed for the second one but not for the third one 